Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a small, yeah, small Poundland haul to share with you. Popped there the other day. Um, we were out on Sunday. We'd taken Ruben for a walk in his um, pram and we were driving past Poundland and we needed milk. Um, so I volunteered to go in while John waited in the car with, with Ruben and just happened to pick up a few more things than milk. It happens. Um, yeah, so that's how, um, that's how it happened. You know what I mean. It was impromptu, wasn't planned trip to Poundland and it was quite busy so it wasn't in there very long. Right, so obviously we bought milk but I haven't got that here. The other things I picked up. Um, this is the Fabulosa um, All-in-One Disinfectant Spray in wild rhubarb. This is my favourite, favourite fabulous scent, the wild rhubarb. The only thing I don't understand is some of them have like a button push down spray and then some of them have this one, like the cherry one has a, a different type of top. Not that it matters, it's just why are they different, the different scents of different tops. I don't know, but yeah, wild rhubarb, definitely my favourite fabulous scent. Um, I got John a deodorant because literally that morning I <laughs> do that thing where you tidy the bathroom. John had like three almost empty deodorants on the like, so I was like, let's you know, use them up, new one, get rid of the three empty ones. So <laughs> I've never heard of this brand apart from on other people's Poundland hauls. Um, Mocate Gold Premium um, Salted Caramel Hot Chocolate. Love salted caramel. Um, I didn't check the calories, which is a bit silly. Um, oh, it's not bad. The whole thing is 150 grams, and 100 grams is like 398 calories, but obviously, how many servings? Normally, it tells you how many servings they reckon you get in a thing, don't they? Oh, I don't know. It's Christmas. It doesn't matter. Currently trying to calorie count, um, like stick to my calories Monday to Saturday and then Sunday as a cheat day. Um, but it's Christmas and all the good food happens at Christmas. Like Christmas and Easter, it's impossible to lose weight for me because that's when all the good food is about. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to stick to it and then probably take a break from calorie counting like Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas Eve, um, have probably off to New Year and then start again. Like we all do, well most of us do, but yeah. I am rambly today. I haven't done a sit down haul in what feels like forever. Um, but yeah, salted caramel hot chocolate. Uh, from the Christmas section, I picked up one of these, a little pom pom garland. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I just have a, a love of pom-poms. I like traditional colours. I see all these people on Instagram doing like beautiful out there things. Like there's a lady I follow on Instagram and her entire um, tree has got like multicoloured. They're like leopard, zebra and giraffe decorations. Um, which sounds bizarre, but it looks amazing. And it's like, you know, people like there's another girl I follow and she's got a black tree and all her decorations are pink. And I'm like, it looks cool. I think it looks really amazing. Um, and every now and again, I'm like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then I can't because I've most of my decorations are already red and green or gold. And so many of our decorations have like sentimental value. So it's like, I'll stick to my red and gold. But yeah. I am so rambly, but yes, I don't know where I'm going to put this. I thought it was cute. I got it. The other thing I got from the Christmas section was this bad boy. <laughs> it is a little Christmas tree decoration. I thought you could put like a LED tea light under it and it would... But I tried it last night and you couldn't tell there was a light under it. So it's just going to be like this. I kind of wish I got more. I just think three together would look really cute. Don't know. It's, 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 it, I just, I like it. I don't know why I like it so much. I just think it's really nice. Um, 
so I'm gonna have to try and go back to pound round and see if I can find two more they only had one of these on the shelf in the one we went to um, makeup type beauty things pick myself up some shampoo this is the provoke touch of silver <clears throat> brightening shampoo it just meant helps get rid of some of those orange tones that uh, all of us fake blondes get um, I've been okay with hair obviously we all know my hair's not great but um yeah i'm waiting for that post-pregnancy hair fallout that everyone kind of warned me about it's not happened yet i've not had like mass hair loss but apparently it happens around now so i'm waiting but yeah purple shampoo i use it like once a week this was a bit of a silly buy um it's a nail polish by bourgeois ultra shine in the shade blue asphalt oh beauty blogger there we go <laughs> the reason why i say it's a bit of a silly buy is i haven't worn nail polish since poor ruben was born um mostly because dry time and i'm one of those people that i can't leave him cry so it's like if he wakes up i'm like there um, but it was such a pretty colour. It's coming up much more grey on on screen. It is quite bluey. So yeah, I picked that up. And then the last thing, which might be my favourite thing. Ah, um, Dark Milk Giant Buttons by Cadbury's. Obsessed. Like, my favourite chocolate at the moment, I would say. It's kind of like... I just love them like obviously again it's Christmas there's so much chocolate out there but this I'm really enjoying I've never really been a dark chocolate fan unless it's like mint dark chocolate but this stuff is mwah. if you haven't tried them you really should they are yum and that is my rambly poundland haul where I talk too much <laughs> okay I hope you're doing well, I hope you're okay, and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.